Hi, I'm Safety Mouse. Safety Woman and I are in front of Seattle's John Muir Elementary, where a vehicle has crashed, knocking down the school crossing sign. The vehicle could have veered right and crashed into the kindergarten playground. The vehicle could have veered left and plowed into the school buses that park along 34th Avenue South. If school was in session, the vehicle could have injured the children who line up on the sidewalk to board the school buses. To prevent accidents like this, we need to calm traffic approaching the school. As a first step, the school and neighbors in Mount Baker asked that the city build a traffic circle one block north of here at 34th Avenue South and South Hanford Street. There is one traffic circle in front of the school at 34th Avenue South, which is good, but the City of Seattle's website explains that traffic calming measures work best when they are installed in a series. What does this circle have to work with in a series along 34th Avenue South? nothing. As you can see, there is no traffic circle here at 34th Avenue South and South Hanford Street to slow cars before they hit the intersection in front of John Muir Elementary School. In 2014, neighbors Mount Baker and Ani Thompson, who is principal of John Muir Elementary School at the time, asked the city for a circle at this location and the city replied no, because there had only been two reported collisions at this intersection recently, and the city needed more collisions to justify building a circle here. Rather than waiting for a third accident to happen at this intersection, or allowing a tragedy to happen because a car speeds through this intersection and wreaks havoc in front of the school, let's just build the traffic circle. This year, Mount Baker neighbors and Brenda Cuthbert who is the new principal of John Muir Elementary School, have repeated their request to the city to build a traffic circle here. There has been no response from the mayor's office, city council, or the Seattle Department of Transportation, but there have been two accidents where speeding vehicles have knocked down metal signs in front of the school. The school crossing sign was run over at 34th Avenue South and South Hort Street and the signpost in the circle in front of the school at 33rd Avenue South and South Horton Street was rammed and torn out of the ground, even though it was planted in cement. If you look around, you can see more damage from cars losing control around the school. Five years ago, this telephone pole in front of the school was installed to replace a pole that was cut in half and splintered to pieces by a car speeding north along 34th Avenue South. We don't know when a car collided with a signpost on the island at 34th Avenue South and South Horton Street. This bent signpost at 34th Avenue South and South Hanford Street is evidence of additional vehicular recklessness. A neighbor told us that cars speed through here like demons. He also mentioned that a child had been killed by a car on 34th Avenue South. According to the Seattle Times, there was a serious accident on the street in the 1970s. A two-year-old boy was sent to the hospital in critical condition after a car hit him on 34th Avenue South at the intersection two blocks north of here. We don't want this type of tragedy to repeat in front of John Muir Elementary School. These collisions illustrate the danger speeding traffic poses to students at John Muir. Please email the City of Seattle at neighborhood.traffic at seattle.gov and ask the Department of Transportation to build a traffic circle at 34th Avenue South and South Hanford Street to calm traffic approaching John Muir Elementary School.